hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering in this video you will learn that how to find the minimum length of the vertical curve to provide the advocate uh, stopping side distance according to the ashto's guidelines i have been given a question which states that a highway is being designed to the ashto's guidelines with uh, 60 miles per hour design speed and at one section and equal tangent vertical curve must be designed to connect grades of plus 1.2 percent and minus 1.08 percent we have to determine the minimum length of curve necessary to meet the ssd requirements okay uh, so here uh, we can have two cases either the length of the vertical curve which is from the pvc that is point of vertical curve to the pvt which is the point of vertical tangent it can be length of curve it can be greater than the stopping side distance or it can be uh, smaller than the stopping side distance okay so we have to assume and then calculate the length of the curve if our assumption is correct then the length of the curve calculated is uh, taken as the design value okay so first uh, we will calculate the stopping side distance uh, for our question design speed is 60 miles per hour which is equal to the 88 feet per second initial grade is plus 1.2 percent and final grade is minus uh, 1.08 percent absolute difference of a grade is g1 minus g2 so it will be equal to 1.2 plus 1.08 which is 2.28 percent okay stopping side distance according to the ashto is given as ssd is equal to v into t plus v squared divided by uh, divided by 2g multiplied by a by g plus minus g okay v is the design speed which is uh, 88 feet per second t is the perception reaction time which is 2.5 uh, second according to the ashto okay and uh, g is the acceleration due to gravity which is 32.2 feet uh, square per feet per second square okay and a is the deceleration rate which is equal to 11.2 feet per second square and g is the grade of the road since our road is level so uh, value of g is equal to zero okay this small g and small g cancel so we will uh, be left in the denominator only 2a okay so ssd will be equal to 88 into 2.5 plus 88 square divided by 2 into 11.2 okay so it is equal to 565.71 feet okay this is the value of stopping side distance now as i told you we have to uh, take uh, the assumption that whether the length of curve is greater than the stopping side distance or it is smaller than the uh, stopping side distance and then we have to use the ashto's formula to calculate the length of the vertical curve first we will assume that length of our vertical curve it is greater than the stopping side distance and we will calculate the length of the vertical curve so when the length of the curve is greater than the stopping side distance according to the ashto length of uh, cur curve is given as l is equal to a s square divided by 200 under root of h1 plus under root of h2 whole square uh, this a uh, is the absolute difference of grade okay s is equal to stopping side distance which we all uh, already calculated in the uh, previous step uh, its value is 565.71 feet h1 it is the driver height uh, driver's i height which according to the ashto is 3.5 feet okay uh, h2 it is the roadway object height which according to the ashto is 2 feet taken okay and a is the absolute difference of grade which is 2.28 percent for our uh, question okay so putting values you will get the value of l equal to 2.28 into 565.71 uh, whole square divided by 200 multiplied by under root of 3.5 plus under root of 2 whole square which is equal to 338.1 feet but you can see this value is less than ssd we assumed that length of the curve will be greater than the ssd but um, uh, in actual case it is less than ssd so our assumption is wrong it means that the length of curve is less than ssd so we will assume that uh, our ssd that is the stopping side distance it is greater than the a minimum length of the vertical curve so length of vertical curve when ssd is greater than l is given by ashto as 2s minus 200 under root of h1 plus under root of h2 whole square divided by a so its value will be 2 into 565.71 minus 200 multiplied by under root of 3.5 plus under root of 2 whole square 
divided by 2.28 which is equal to 184.8 feet and it is less than SSD so our assumption is correct so we can say that the minimum length of the vertical curve to provide the advocate uh, stopping side distance uh, for a design speed of 60 miles per hour is 184.8 feet okay so this is how you can calculate the minimum length of the vertical curve according to the ashto's guideline okay you have to uh, first calculate the stopping side distance and then assume the value whether our length of the vertical curve is uh, greater than the ssd or it is less than the ssd okay uh, these two formulas are only valid when we have a uh, vertical curve okay for sag curves we have a different formula these are for the vertical uh, crest curve so for sag curve we have a different formula and we will discuss it in the next problem i hope the solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box i will try my best to answer your doubts thanks for uh, watching master civil engineering and stay tuned